Hi everybody. I bet you never thought you were going to meet me in the bathtub on Christmas Eve day, but we had an emergency. And uh, this is the only time you're going to see me and I hope we have enough energy in the camera to run the whole thing. But we'll see how we do. But you know how I always say, if there's little uh, gnat flies flying around, go around, stir up the surface, and if they come off of one particular plant, that would be your culprit. So I did go back and check, and this pot, this uh, orchid has been in this pot since June 10th, two and a half years ago. And uh, I looked at the video, and I'll put a link if you want to watch it, of how this pot was made and when I put the plant in. And uh, I noticed I used the big bark, but I used to um, buy the bark and the bags and I'd save the scrappings from the, the little fine pieces from the bags. I used to pick out the bark and I'd sprinkled some in there. So I'm thinking that's where our trouble is. So it's getting repotted. And uh, let's get to it because there's not much time. I hope you have a really good Christmas Eve. Oh, there's the little dog crying at the door. Now, um, what I have to do, uh, I soaked it in here for about 20 minutes, 50, because it's all underwater, but I have to slowly, this is the only uh, aerial root that is stuck to the plot. So I soaked it and then underwater, I'll just slowly push sideways. All the ones that are outside the pot have to stay outside the pot. But luckily, this is the only one that's stuck. So I got most of it loose, except the bottom here. So we're going to see how it looks. I kept saying, you know, this needed done. There, I got it loose. So now I'm going to take it out slowly. In the water, it shouldn't hurt it too much. <laughs> Holy. So I didn't know what I'm going to find. I don't even think back then I used, oops, I used to check and make sure that um, everything was good in the pot. Now we have to be careful. Very careful. Maybe I can use these holes to poke some of this out of here. I know it's a beautiful pot and I love it and I love the orchid but then I was not looking forward to this repot and what are the roots going to look like? We don't know but we're going to film as much of it as we can. Some bark is coming out. What I don't film <laughs> I'll have to do a second one but Oh, this one's stuck. Okay, let's loosen that one. Okay. Oh, it came out and it went back in again. Okay. I think, I think it should come out of there though. That one came out and went back in. Poor thing. I thought it wasn't in spike yet, so I thought Best to do it before it does. I hate being bothered. Um, okay, those aren't stuck. Some of the ones at the top, you can um, try and make circle around the surface of the pot, and they'll slowly get used to being an inside fruit. Okay, what are we getting to here? Oh boy. There's a mass of roots in there, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, if you can see in there, let's see what I can tell you in there. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Some, you know, I thought about leaving it in there and trying to get the bark out, but uh, then I thought that might not be so good. 
Okay, these ones are stuck on the side of the pot, so let's get these ones loose without breaking them. That's probably what's holding it in. So you just kind of slide sideways. Slide sideways. I've seen where some people in, a, in a terracotta pots, they've actually ended up breaking the pot. Um, yeah, there's a lot stuck. That would be holding it in. Let's see if I can get these ones, even on the inside. Okay. We may lose some. We don't want to. But we may. There's one tangle of roots in here. And I don't think I even went in and checked it after it was put in here. But... <clears throat> Smokes. This is something. <laughs> the other night, it, it was getting near time to go to bed, and I walked in the room and I said, Well, another day. Jad goes, Remember when we used to say another day, another dollar? <laughs> now we just say another day. <laughs> Those were the working days. <laughs> Holy smokes. We've got a monster here. So far there's lots of roots. I know, I know. That's why people use little pots. But Carolyn likes to play. And what's happy in here? We don't want to break any more leaves. Okay, let's see. This one is a problem one. Not sure what we're going to do with that. I think Jack came out with this idea, you know, do it in the bathtub. I was probably, I could never have done it in the sink. And our bathrooms are small, so if it sounds in like an echo, it is. This is the, there's two bathrooms upstairs. This is the bigger one, and believe me, it's not big. <laughs> well, that's to clean. I hate cleaning bathrooms. Oh, we might be getting somewhere. We might be getting somewhere. We're staying home tonight anyway, so I sure would like that one to come loose. Oh, it came. I think it might come. Come on out of there, you little rascal. Come on. Okay, I got the one that I got the one that was growing back in out. Now, whether I have to do a separate oh here it comes. Here it comes, everybody. Here it comes. Okay. Let's see what we got. Now, whoa, boy, some of them even grow through the... We had a, a piece of... Uh, the kind of wire they use when they do cement. Some of them even grew through there. Well, this one's not happy. That kind of, There's a little doggy crying at the door. <laughs> I don't know why she hates baths. Oh, dear. There's not any room. I barely got the computer in here. I mean the camera. So, okay. This is the wire that actually kept it. So it was just the size of a big orchid pot, really. And with the big holes, when you miss the holes rather than the pot itself, what happens is... Um, it encourages root growth to come towards the holes. So, okay, let's see what we got here. See, some of this bark, uh, so the pot remembers. Okay, you know, um, it's really pretty good. I think back then I did not um, Take the moss out as good as I should have. See that? That's probably right where the problem is. Right in there. Yes, see, I wasn't, you have to get that out. Of course, this was two and a half years ago. I've learned a lot even since then. And I used to take it out, but good grief. That is, there is quite a bit. So here's a close up of what I've got. And when I put it back in the pot, I have to make sure all of these green ones go back uh, in. 
So uh, there we are. And um, let's see, is there anything soggy at all? Really, other than that old moss up in the corner, up in the crotch, I do not see, you know what, I think there's a pair of tweezers here. So I think I'll take a pair of tweezers. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now. Yeah, because this should be cleaned out of here. Yeah. I'm going to have fun cleaning. There is one that's a little not good. Very hard for me to see what you're seeing, but yeah, yeah, we don't. That moss has got to come out of there. Oh, look at this one. This is where they were, right near the top. But just because what happens, the bark, the bark does not stay. Um, the bark doesn't stay wet, so the gnats don't like it unless you're watering too much. But. Uh, Right in the inside, where the moss was, the rest of the roots, they are healthy. Yay for bark, you guys. Yay for bark. So, um, there's nothing, nothing in here that is rotten as far as roots go, except right near where this moss is. And, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Um, I'm going to shut off the camera, I'm going to clean up here, <laughs> and uh, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to put it in the pot, okay? Hopefully it will be in the kitchen, so we will be back.